Hey girls, I am 23 weeks and five days today. I know that this is really late, but I've been really, really crazy this week. I went shopping on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, <laughs> every single day. And I know that that seems like, what the heck, you went shopping and that's why you were too busy to do things. But it was all wedding shopping, which I will tell you about later. So it's it's been a very busy week. And um, so this is gonna be a quick update. I wrote everything down that I'd have to update you guys on because I knew that this was gonna be late and I didn't wanna mix up 23 and 24 weeks. So. The first thing is, is that on my last vlog, I got a lot of questions about my hair because everybody said that I had changed my hair. From the beginning of pregnancy, I think it was my four or five week video, I said that I was gonna try and do everything naturally for the whole pregnancy, but the one thing that was gonna be hard for me was never dyeing my hair because I had just dyed my hair when I found out I was pregnant and it was way darker than my hair naturally is. If you go through a lot of my videos, you will see, especially lately, like in the last couple of belly shots, that my hair is kind of like blonde in the front and then a little bit like red and brown throughout the top and then like super dark red in the bottom. Um, so all of this super dark red part was the part that was um, dyed obviously and then I have like huge roots. Oh, usually in the summer I highlight or like lighten up my own hair and it's been so hard to not do that this summer and I wanted to so badly but everybody told me that bleaching was really really bad and so the only thing that I could think to do was to clarify all of the hair that was dyed really dark and hope that the what's left just kind of gets sun washed on its own. I know that that's similar to bleaching my hair. It's kind of the same chemicals and whatever. The only difference being that it, you know, because it was so far down my head, it wouldn't have touched my skin at all. And so hopefully that would prevent them from being near my body as much as possible. Judge me all you want. I needed needed to do it. I needed to. <laughs> My hair, it's got like all sorts of funky colors in it. Uh, I actually took a picture of my roots the other day where you can see like all of the blonde and the little red stripes throughout my hair in my roots. So my roots are like a mess, um, but my hair is actually for some reason red underneath. When you strip my hair, it comes out bright red. So for the first couple of days, it was just bright red and now it's slowly fading down to a bit more of a natural color. I'm probably gonna end up putting a little bit of henna in it, but oh, if anybody has any other suggestions, I'm trying to keep my hair on the lighter side so that I can grow it all out and just have it natural again. And it's so hard to do that when I have these big chunks of red in the bottom of it. So anyways, that's my big rant about the answer to the hair question from last week. That's all, I did it outside also for anybody who is like, make sure you do everything in a ventilated area. I did it on the balcony. Okay, so one big thing for 23 weeks is I think I started feeling Braxton Hicks contractions. I know a lot of people, like pretty much everyone in my real life has told me that it's too early to feel them, but I don't know what else this could be. And you know, from the beginning, every single thing that I felt, everybody's told me, you can't feel that, you can't feel that. And like I have felt everything from the beginning. And so I don't know if my body is just super sensitive or if it's just that I know what's coming so I'm trying hard to feel things or what. Maybe like once to twice a day, like yeah, that often, I have this feeling and it's only in the very bottom of my belly, like underneath my belly button. And it's literally like someone has their hands and they put them on my belly and then they just squeezed in like this until they could lock their hands. And then they just left them there for like a minute and a half. And I, I just don't know what else that could be. I don't know if I'm describing something else. If you think that I am, like feel free to tell me, but the only other feeling that I've gotten that was tight like that is the feeling that I described, I think in my 14 week video, um, where it just got really heavy at the bottom. And that's more of like um, a feeling of like, really having to go to the bathroom or something like that. This is similar because yeah, it's a heavy feeling, but it's also just like a super tight feeling. And so they're okay. Um, it's, they're not like painful or anything like that. They're just a little overwhelming because I'm usually doing something and then it's like all the focus is drawn to the bottom half of my belly. So that's really weird. But if you want, leave a comment below and let me know what you think that that is because I don't know, I'm guessing with the BH contractions thing, it's um, first time for me, so 
I'm not really sure. The next thing that I wanted to ask everybody, just as a question, not because I've noticed anything on myself, but when did you start to notice stretch marks? So that's kind of like my question of the video. When did you start to notice stretch marks during your first pregnancy or really any pregnancy? Because I don't know, I have this like feeling that it's just gonna come upon me one day, especially because my belly is just getting like itchier every single week. And I'm trying to use bio oil and I'm trying to use cream, but I hear that no matter what you do, you can't actually prevent it. You can only just make it a little better. So, oh, I don't know, but it's just, everything is getting super itchy down there. And I was just wondering, yeah, I am so, so happy to finally be able to call the baby a he in all of my videos. Of course, I knew for probably like three to four weeks before I told you guys anything. And that was really hard to do, was to keep saying it, and then to switch to he when Alex and I were talking. And so the baby, even though we knew it was a boy, it turned into an it for so many weeks because we were so scared to use the word he in videos. So really glad to be able to do that. I guess that's all I'm gonna say. I'm really sorry that this is a short update, guys. I will definitely make a longer update for my 24 week video and I'll try and have some videos up soon. I know I was making like some days three videos and some weeks like six videos and now all of a sudden I've done just my like most basic of basic videos so I'm really gonna try and get back on it. I've just been so busy and now my back hurts. So I'm gonna go but you guys all have a lovely day and thank you so 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 much again all the time I thank you for going through this with me because I just, I love the fact that I can come on and I can ask you guys anything whenever I want and I can share exciting news with you and everybody's going to be excited with me. It's the best feeling in the world and if you are somebody who only watches videos and doesn't vlog because you're scared of what people are going to say and this and that and I've gotten a lot of negativity on my channel but let me tell you that the positivity way outweighs the negativity and so if you're scared for that reason. I would say go for it. That's all I wanted to say. Have a good day, everybody. Also this week, we got this um, from a friend. It's a hand-me-down, so I don't really know if you guys think I should add it to like something in pregnancy spending, get an estimate of what it's worth, and put it on the, on the gift and saving side, or just because I'm trying to give everybody an accurate idea of how much you'd need to spend on baby, and this is obviously something we would have bought we don't have to buy now. So this is just a little, like a little bouncer chair. It comes apart for when the baby gets a little bigger. And a cradle. I just put a bit of polish like this in my shoes. Mm. Is it last is wearing off? Mm hmm Hey. Hey. What's up? I was showing everybody the cradle. Oh, it's cool, eh? The vibrates. Alex. What? I don't want a vibrator. What? <laughs> you want a vibrating bed? What do you do? It sounds like uh, traveling music from Zelda Link's Awakening. <laughs>